Hello, hello. So today it's Friday, 17th of November, 2017. And I finally got the uh, fall update for Windows 10. It's a major update. And I didn't get it automatically. I had to manually uh, sort of search for updates and then I got it like a month late. But as usual, when there are a major update like this, it will crash some stuff. And the first thing I noticed that it crashed was these gadgets here to the right. They weren't showing up. And even if I right click here and select gadgets, it didn't show up. So what I had to do there was to actually uninstall the software because Windows 10 doesn't come with any gadgets at all. They kind of remove that in Windows 8. So I use a special software called Desktop Gadgets Revived 2.0. So I had to uninstall that software, restart the computer and then install it again. And then the gadgets showed up. Kind of weird. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the first thing that crashed. And then other thing is this voice voice meter banana. I use this as a audio mixer. Uh, it didn't really crash, but it kind of reset the uh, audio settings. If you go into playback devices here, it. Uh, I set it to default output to the, to the built-in Realtek sound card <laughs> or mixer, whatever. And also these special icons for the voice meter were kind of reset. It was using the default icons. So what I had to do was actually to uninstall this voice meter software as well and reboot the computer. And I also saw that it was an update for this software, so I got the new update. So the icons are back, and I also reset, changed the settings here to 24-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz. So now that's back as well, working normally. And yeah, OBS we're also uh, kind of reset. Here it is. I'm recording right now. And all of these audio settings were kind of reset as well. Uh, if I go into settings and the audio here, uh, all of these inputs here were kind of reset. There were no inputs, so I had to change that. <laughs> kind of annoying. But now that seems to be working, at least. Um, so let's see what else, uh, OBS, yeah, the folders in Explorer. Um, you know, normally if you go to this PC, there will be a bunch of extra folders here. You know, my documents, downloads, stuff like that. And there were a new folder here called 3D Objects. And all of these settings were kind of reset, so I had to redo that. And you actually do that in the uh, registry editor, like over here. And normally you go into, it's kind of a long way to go here, but uh, normally you go to, you know, Windows current version. I have a separate video for that. Explorer. And then the folder descriptions. To, so to remove like the pictures, folders and stuff like that, you go to like this property bag, click here and show hide. Uh, but the 3D objects folder wasn't here. Um, so it was actually in a different folder. Uh, I think it was in, uh, let's see, further down I think. Yeah, under my computer and under namespace. 
and there was a folder here that you actually need to remove. And then that 3D objects folder were gone. <laughs> so it's kind of annoying things like this that you have to kind of redo every time there's a major update. And there were also a bunch of services that were re reset um, that actually change. Uh, one of them is, let's see, auto. Uh, let's see what I found this auto time zone updater. It was reset. Now this was actually working, but the other ones, let's see, connected devices, platform services. This were actually reset. So I had to stop it and then disable it. Same thing with the uh, Let's see. A connected user experience and telemetry. And the telemetry is a thing where it sends back information to Microsoft. So that was enabled again. So I had to stop it and disable it. Stuff like that. So really annoying that you had to do this all over again and uh, this is what I kind of noticed so far that was kind of broken and I also noticed when I start certain software for example Chrome or whatever it was starting pretty slow normally I have an NVMe drive for example now it starts immediately but in the beginning it was taking like 10 seconds for it to start, kind of weird. But now it seems to be working just fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of weird. So yeah, but the creator's update seems to be working just fine at the moment at least. So uh, yeah. And I can't really see any major changes in the UI. Well, let's see. Up. Yeah, some of these were kind of minimized, but all of this kind of stuff looks the same. So we'll see. So far it worked great. I just ha have to see if the game still works. Stuff like that. But yeah, it seems to be working just fine at the moment. So see you later.